All right, on the world seven. As you can see, we actually got a wow. He is very hell bent on getting me. All right, okay, listen here. Kind of liking the music for this. Uh, this place has a couple of things going on here. One of which is this guy. This guy is a reference to something I don't get why they made a reference to him. It's not really a horror icon. This was more of a tragic icon. The guy with the bag over his head is a reference to the Elephant Man, which was an actual human being who was severely deformed and... I don't know, fighting this guy kind of seems kind of mean-spirited because doing some research into what the hell this guy's supposed to be before actually being knowledge of it, it man, it was kind of depressing reading it of how just life gave him such a, a bad situation and he had to just put up with it. From what I've read and what I've researched, he seemed like a pretty alright person. Oh there. Okay. Okay. The goalkeeper right here is actually a reference to Jason. Of course, they had to change it because of the, the you know, obvious they can't really use Jason for Friday the 13th stuff because of copyright. Okay. So, first boss of the area, I believe he is through this door. I think there's only two doors in this uh, entire stage. I'm Royce! And he's on a roll! Wow, he is on a roll. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Listen here, Royce. Ooh. Okay, wow. He is really angry. Seems like I get a little bit of an iframe if I hit him. So it's all about timing. Unless he decides to just double clip me there. Wow. Uh, I'll be right back. There we go. God, that guy really started to bug me. You don't even want to know how many times it took me to take him out. But Rolls Royce over there, because that's literally the pun they're trying to go for. Uh, he is a reference to the manga... Uh, well, I'm gonna try my best not to butcher his name. Uh, Hideshi Hino's Bug Boy. I hope I fully got his name right. Uh, that's basically what it is. It's basically about a kid who wanted to... Who was obsessed with caterpillars and then transforms into a giant kill... Caterpillar himself. It's weird, it's nonsensical, and it, it really fits with this game. I recommend taking Burton to that fight. Don't try to go uh, swaying away with your bat on him, because... Yeah, you saw how that turned out in the first run. Alright, uh, let's see. Hopefully Jason has some health on him. I forgot how useful the double shot is. Yes, he does. You know what? I'm going to grind off Jason a little bit, because he is a good farm for health. And if I ever run out of birds, I think I can just... Oh, no, wait. That's two levels down. Never mind. Jason. Jason. There we go. If I can just get one more kill on him. There we go. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm just going to go in as Mark now. Again, I'm not going to go after the Elephant Man because it's just too mean to take it try and take him out. Alright, I believe that is one of the doors. Wow, that is such a bad placement for Jason. Yup. And yup. Come again. What? Well, thanks, I guess? Come again. Alright. Surprisingly, that has a different text boss instead of empty. It's weird. I don't know why they have it like that. Alright. Oh, Jason! He's out for blood! Thankfully, the our little vampire friend, bat friend, demon, whatever he's supposed to be, is there to help us. I'm just gonna inch my way across the screen. Don't mind me just humping my life and my score. Eh, 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 eh,
Eh, made it. Alright. Ah. Welcome. Entrance to hell. It's death. Death is a piece of shit. And he's also really easy, except for the fact that things don't go away. Ah, damn it. Oh no. That means I have to fight Royce again. No! <laughs> Round two with death. And you know what? After going back through the stage as Bert, I just realized something. In the double shot version, you actually do double the damage to enemies as well. Really? That was... Oh, was I thinking of a different level that he shows? No, that should be like... Another boss fight in this. Weird. Oh, yeah. I might as well uh, say this right now. The hammer home that this is a reference to the elephant man. If you actually shoot him when he still has his bag on his head, then he actually transforms into an elephant just to, you know, hammer that reference home even more. Still not going to kill him, though, out of principle. But I want to at least get out of here before I transform. Ah, so close. Oh, nope. Oh. For a second, I still saw a little bit of Bert's sprite. I thought, like, that I actually managed to get another one of uh, pill the pills for him. All right, for Jason. Avoid Elefante. Let's get out of here. Up we go. I believe that that might be the door I was thinking of. We shall see as soon as we get over there. Nope. Maybe it was a false, false one, and it's at the very end of the level. I'm gonna keep checking every door that I go into because I'm kind of curious now. Ow. Yep, I'll suck all your blood. Again. Welcome to a lazily remade boss fight. That's right, Spider's back. He's shooting green X's this time. And oddly enough, he's not even supposed to be a reference to anything. Yes, it's even more lazy because they just slapped a two onto his abdomen. But. I'll go over what he was originally supposed to be, then we'll just completely cut out of the game when we get back there. Alright, so see you in a little bit. Alright, so Spider Boy right here. Originally in the Japanese prototype, he wasn't supposed to be in this game. In this room, we were actually supposed to fight a completely different boss altogether. It was supposed to be a giant, like, killer totem pole. I know, it's weird, but then again, it's Monster Party, so what do you expect? But for whatever reason, it was removed at the last second and just slapped with the spider with a number two on its back. I've, nothing I've been able to look up it seems to tell me why they removed it, but you can actually change the files. It's still in the game, technically. If you can just change the files and all that stuff, you can actually make it uh, an appearable boss fight. It just moves back and forth, the lower two segments of it attack you, and that's the only thing that do, does damage to you. Other than that, it that's pretty much it. It just moved back and forth, and that was just basically the boss fight in a nutshell. I, again, I don't know why they removed it. Wait. I don't have the key. Why don't I have the key? I took out, I took out the caterpillar. I took it. Who has the key? Where'd my key go? Did you steal my key? What? Okay, so since I didn't go over this the first time we fought against death, uh, he was actually changed in the Japanese version. In the Japanese prototype, death here was actually a giant cybernetic xenomorph yeah it's really really weird even for this game but of course you know copyright issues they had to change it and doing some research in between uh the the cut in between then and now yeah you see the key here the reason why we lost the key after the giant spider fight is because of a very like i guess you could say famous glitch in this game see for this level in particular it checks for only two boss fights you fight against this level and since we fought against a third one that the game, I guess, kind of marks it as uh, an unused boss that they just randomly slapped in here, 
you lose the key if you fight the three bosses in this instead of two, because you have to be exactly two bosses. I don't know why! But yeah, if you do that, you're either going to have to do a hard reset, or you're going to have to just take the death. So instead, we are going to avoid that unneeded, un unused creation, and we're just going to get the hell out of this tower, because I spent way too much time in this place as, al you know, already. All right, let's hop, hop, get the hell out of here. I don't remember the Dark Tower giving me such a problem in past playthroughs, but damn, the LP curse really hit me hard this time around. Yahig! Yeah, Alright, final level! Welcome to probably the most difficult overworld area in the game. The... what was it? The uh, Dark World Heaven. That's what it was. First off, this door right here. They trick you in the final level because they hide one of the bosses to the left of where you start. Watch out, baby! Says this giant dragon. Oh, this guy. In the Japanese version, he doesn't uh, get changed. He just has a different sp starting place. Instead of disguising himself as the eyeball in the background, he uh, just starts just facing you. He's also a bit of a pain, as you can see. He loves to just circle around you because his head's the only place that takes damage. And, well, yeah, he just loves to just circle you and just avoid your attacks and just tank so much damage onto you. The best way to do it, try and kite him into a big circle and just get as many hits onto his head as possible. And, as you can see, not as easy as I thought it would be. Maybe I should try and find Bert instead. He makes things so much easier now. Oh my god, even as Birdie was still a pain in the ass to fight. Thankfully, you can get Bert really easy in this level. Just go to the right a little bit, and the first enemy that comes right into within smacking distance, these little... I don't even know what the hell they're supposed to be, but are they supposed to be like Ghost TNT? Or Ghost Dynamite Sticks? Because that's what they looked like to me. First one you smack upside the head, drops you a Bert pill, so you can just grab that and just go in to do double damage. I believe it's this one always? Yep. Oh my god, that guy was such a pain. Nope, nothing here. I don't remember Dark World's Heaven uh, stage as well as the other ones, so I might just be going through every single door. We got these witches up here who drop little magical sparkles that'll do damage. They're pretty easy to avoid. These guys are a pain because they do explosive damage, and it kind of lingers a little bit, so you need to be super careful if you take one out. Do you have anything, please? Okay, guess not. Face my wrath, says this abomination. Wow, he's got a lot of hands shooting at me. I can't tell where the hands end and the rib cage begins. I was also kind of hoping for... Uh oh. Uh, I was kind of hoping for some health from that question mark, but that's wishful thinking on my part. I don't think I'm ready to take on the final boss or the next boss to be exact. Duh. Alright, so, continuing from where we left off, hopefully we don't get decked by one of these old ghost, uh, TNT guys. Oh boy! Oh wow, they just fly right into you. Actually, if I hit them, their explosive damage doesn't even do anything. Ay, that witch. That witch! Also, if we couldn't be content with ghost TNT and witches shooting spells at us, even the star constellations above want us, want us dead. It's, hmm. It's a good thing we're in heaven, because we're going to be dying a lot here. Just saying. I would also maybe like some health. One of you guys want to, you know, drop some? That'd be great. Ow. A burp pill? I can also go for that, but I'd rather have some health. Because I believe that the last boss of the area is right up ahead. Alright, I believe this should have the last boss of the area. Oh boy! Mark Soup! Ugh. Introducing, uh, the Snake Man. Yes, that's actually his real name. Don't, don't look at me like that. I guess because he has a snake on his head or whatever. 
In the Japanese version, he's a, only a little different. Uh, instead of, you know, grinding his body against the ground in a bloody mess, he floats a little bit above in the air. I think that was just a bad texture placement, so they moved the sprite down to the more towards the ground. Anyways, we got the final bo uh, uh, boss defeated. We got the key. Let's uh, hopefully not die from dynamite. Go! Or riches. Or constellations. That'd be great, too. Ah! It's also wishful thinking on my part. They do not give you a whole lot of health in this level, it seems. Alright. All the bosses are beaten! Just need to avoid these ghosts and constellations! Especially the constellations and the witches! Oh boy! Oh god! This is a no-flying zone, ma'am! Ow. Uh, is that the no? Yes. No, I don't know. No, it's not. I should have guessed, but this just looked like a very tall building, so I thought that was the one we had to go into. I'm guessing, if anything, the witches probably have the. Excuse me, I would like my pill, please. Thank you. With only three small bars of health left as well. There it is. There's our exit. Of course, the most lavish-looking place had to be the exit. Oh god, they just put those two at the very end! Just to make things tough on you. Going into the final boss fight with one bar of health. If I manage to pull this off, I'm going to laugh. Maybe it'll give me a little bit more health going into it. Okay, yeah, they, they're, they're generous. You beat everybody! Beat me, and you can leave! Come and die! Meet the Dark Master, the final boss of the game! He has a... Eh, I guess a, a gimmick to him, a very easy way he can just cheese his boss fight. What we need to do is we need to hit his nose when the little casing is not protecting it, and as you can see, the best strategy for his shots is just to go in a circle and just let them uh, go around you. It's actually best to play as Mark during this because you can just easily, like, get these things into a nice little loop and you can also just combo hit his nose. For our final boss, he's kind of a disappointment, to be honest. Are you gonna open up your nose anytime soon, buddy? Hello? There it is. You'll also be careful. The nose actually counts as an enemy to that will do damage to you if you actually let it touch you. I know, being beaten by a nose, that would be kind of sad of a way to go out. Ah, I got a little too out of touch there. Oh, boy. I think he's only a couple more hits away from death. I can just get a good combo. There we go. Nope. Nah. We had something going there, but then I just threw off the combo entirely and just bit it. Uh, hopefully this is the last time you see shrimp going by. All right, round 12, because I've basically decided to just, you know, do this entire level in my sleep with how many times I've had to go through this by now. Let's go. I'm going in as Mark this time. I don't like having Burp for this fight, just because it's easier to get these eyeballs in a loop as Mark instead of Burp, because, you know, he doesn't jump, he glides all over the place. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted. Give him a nice little loop. Wait for the hat, uh, the seal thing to open up, if it ever does. Open your nose. Open your nose. Wherever it goes. Round and round they go. Will they hit me? Nobody knows. It, well, they probably will if they I fail up these jumps. Come on, open your nose for me. I don't want to be here all night. Do I need to smack one of your... Okay, there it goes. Oh, thank you. You're being generous now. Ah! Uh oh Ah, uh, no! I threw off the cycle! No! Ah! go. 
Alright. Kind of getting the cycle back. So there's not a whole lot of commentary here. It's just a lot of focus is going on to avoiding these eyeballs and breaking the cycle. Cool. Come on, get him. All right, good. I think a couple more whacks and he should go down. Him and his weird eyeball fetish, it seems. Ah! It's timed. All right, nice. Double hit. Oh, no! What is this? I should also probably state, for the record, uh, in the Japanese prototype of this boss fight, uh, for whatever reason, Mark is blue during the cutscene. I don't know why, but it was just, I'm guessing it was probably just a, a, a miscolor error on their part. Ugh. Yeah, I hate it when this cycle just resets like that very, like, suddenly. There we go! Not Got him out with one HP left! Oh god, the pain! It hurts so much! Bert, why would you subject me to this? Mark destroyed the monsters. Bert gave him a gift. Period. Still of the sentence structure, by the way. And Mark went home. He excitedly opened the box. A beautiful princess came out. And get ready for some nightmare fuel, kids, because who boy. But suddenly, the princess became a monster, and more monsters followed her. Yep, congratulations! Here's Nightmare Fuel! And it gets worse from here, or I guess in my case, better. Mark was scared and screamed. Ah! Congratulations! Straight up Nightmare Fuel! You get to see Mark's flesh melt from his body! It was a dream. Mark was awakened by his mom. You'll be late. It was a dream. That sun is creeping me out. It looks like it has a really angry face staring at me, like that Mario sun. I'm leaving. Mark opened the door. Bert was there. And for some reason looked at me like I owed him money. He whispered to Mark. Let's go again. And that's the end of the game. Yeah, kind of ends on a pretty dark note, but yeah, it has a charm to it. But yeah, that was Monster Party. A very short but very sweet game. I found a lot of great enjoyment in playing this. It's still one of my all-time favorite NES games because of its weirdness. It has a good challenge to it, albeit at points a little not good. <coughs> Haunted house! But it's still an all-around good experience. I hope you all enjoyed this little trip with me this Halloween, but now you might be wondering what's next on the chopping block. Well, there's going to be a bit of a hiatus. Reason behind that is the next project I have in the works is going to be a big undertaking for me. I got a lot of things I need to do on the back burner before we get started with it, so unfortunately, you won't be seeing anything till probably around December. And... There will still be updates to it. There will be stuff on like my Discord, Twitch, Twitter, all that stuff. I'll keep you posted on when that stuff goes live. And there's also the Hunt Hober mini series that will be going up in a couple days from this video going up. But until that day comes, just keep your eye out for updates. I'm TBG Hunter. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. And I will leave you all with this sight of Bert looking like I owe him a debt. Later.